Exploring lakes, rivers, and reservoirs across the country with an unyielding goal to enlighten viewers from a fisheye perspective. Come along and we'll investigate the habitat. Much more than a fishing trip, this is an eye-opening aquatic experience. Welcome to Kim Stricker's Hook and Look. In lake ecosystems, snapping turtles play an important role as an aquatic scavenger. Yet, to a few hand-picked adventure seekers, they provide sport, though a bit extreme. In the midst of a midsummer topwater bite, Kim sidesteps towards an uncommon diversion, wrangling snappers with the turtle commandos. It's an action-packed episode in pursuit of both largemouths and lake dragons. The common snapping turtle, Chelydra serpentina, is a large freshwater turtle, well noted for its powerful beak-like jaws, highly mobile head and neck, and its combative disposition when out of water. Which brings us to today's featured guests, David and Johnny Kamenga, two turtle and twins with an unconventional diversion. These brothers recreationally pursue and apprehend snapping turtles with their bare hands. Self-proclaimed as the turtle commandos, they're skilled, daring, a bit reckless, and undeniably outrageous. There we go, right there. Oh, right there, big one. Oh yeah, good spot. Oh, that is a nice sized turtle, Johnny. It, it's the S11 sunglasses. Good spot. Right when you said that, I seen those bubbles coming up for us. <laughs> now we're talking, boys. It's <laughs> <laughs> <That's> awesome. <laughs> Come on, Johnny. We can take you turtling more often. You spot him. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Is that crazy or what? When I first discovered what they did, I instantly thought, I've got to have them on my show. Like we were saying, this early in the morning, they're not so much um, surfacing and hitting the top. They're kind of just chilling on the bottom like he was. And he didn't even really take off when I got up to him. Kind of sat there, just looked up like, what are you doing? <laughs> are you crazy? <laughs> crazy? <laughs> You can see all this algae and stuff that grows on the shell. It's just perfect camouflage for when he's going to that bottom and burrowing in. Fish and little critters under the water don't spot him and he can just kind of just wait on that bottom and just snatch anything. It's funny how some lakes have a, an abundant population of snapping it is. turtles. It is crazy. I wouldn't skinny dip. <laughs> no. You want to just go in and just kind of bump in there? Yeah, I think I'm going to try that. Yeah, there's the bubbles coming out. I think there is something in there. Yeah, I, did, I saw the tail. Go ahead. See, the thing is, is my show is all about looking in the water, and that's what you're doing here. Yeah. yeah. You're sight spotting these turtles. know what the heck you're doing or what yeah. no <laughs> now did you see his tail or did you yeah. just reach in there yeah that was the tail i mean you don't just reach in there think i mean if his head's going to be snapping yeah. like that and if you don't know where his tail or head is usually we just kind of just poke on there try to hit their shell and then that'll kind of get them moving because you know you obviously hit them and then you kind of feel that shell whichever way it's going, you know, it's a pretty safe bet. Their tails, you know, on that. There's side. nothing safe about this at all, if you ask me. <laughs> uh, nice, dude. Good job, Dave. Woo. You good are a catch. stud. <laughs> I thought that was a tail. It looked like a weed, though. I wasn't sure it was like the very tip of it. I know. Look at those power poles down. Yeah. Nice, dude. Uh, this one's a new one. 
He's got a pretty See clean that? Shell where his head too. is reaching? Yeah. Yeah. It's about where he can get. Just like we were saying with that. And what other about guy. the side? Side? It's about the same or not quite the same? Probably a little farther. Ooh, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> all a our, all our viewers just glitched. <laughs> just a little bit there. <laughs> I'm having fun. But while we were turtling around, I took notice of the amount of bass cruising the grass flats, and it quickly came to mind, I bet there's an awesome topwater bite here in the morning. When we come back, that's just what we're gonna do. But stay tuned, the turtle commandos and their lake dragons will be back later in the show. Up next, the topwater bite is on. We'll be right back. Hook and Look is brought to you by Strike King Lure Company, number one in fishing lures. Lose, feel the difference. Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. Seaguar, trust Seaguar when everything is on the line. And by Aquaview, reinventing underwater cameras. Look at that thing, right down his gullet. Awesome. First thing in the morning, I knew there'd be a good morning bite. That's why I tied on that KVD splash. Let me get my pliers right back in there. There we go. Right there, right there. It's a KVD splash. That's a junior size, that's a smaller size but it catches nice big bass. Well, it's not quite like wrangling snapping turtles, but topwater fishing is what I do to pump my adrenaline. And frankly, I'm more likely to keep all my fingers to it. Let's do that again. That's the way to start it out. That's the way to start things out. That was a good one. What this is is a, basically a sunken island with deeper water all around it. But I would think in the morning they'd get right up on top of it. It's just coming by one. Yesterday when we were turtling, you know, we'd, we'd see a bass cruising here and there up in the stuff. You know, quite a few smaller ones, but every now and then you'll see a good two and a half, three pounder. And I know there's better ones in here. Heck, if they got 30 pound turtles, they gotta have five pound bass. Unless uh, those 30 pound turtles eat them. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Ooh, that's a good one. Get out of those weeds. Those, that bass scenario is so thick, they get down in it. Stay top, stay top. That's another good one to get my net. That's a dandy. <laughs> Ah, good solid fish. Good solid fish. On that KVD splash. Yes, oh no, I had him twice. I had him in the gill plate too. But yeah. Isn't that nice? Just nice solid fish. Yeah, it's the, the outside edge of this sunken island where the deeper water comes up that where these fish are holding them. I, I'm probably gonna get in the water here and uh, later this afternoon and check the outside. And I'm sure we'll catch some on the outside as well. So 
Very nice. Let you go, baby. Coming up, Kim defines the pattern. Hook and look style. That nice subtle bloop of the KVD splash attracts them. Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> Man, he slammed it. Ooh, that's a decent fish. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Come on over here. Look at him in that water. Yeah, he engulfed. There's another one behind him competing for it. But look at it sticking out of his mouth. Grab my net. Look at you. Nice, nice. Stocky fish. Again, look at how he ate that. Just totally engulfing that KVD splash. Lots of fun, lots of fun, lots of fun. So much as fun as turtling. <laughs> You can see how you've got that scattered vallison area along with the sand grass, the cara. And every now and then there'll be a little open patch of sand, but uh, that's what's up on top of this island. <laughs> oh, look at it, pull that drag. The drag on this mock crush reel is phenomenal. There we go. There we go. Get out of there. There we go. But yep, the, I thought that that uh, top water bite had, had uh, diminished. And it probably has, but that fish came up on top of the flat, up in that shallow water. And he, this, just slurped it in. The KVD Splash Junior. Just another good solid fish. Although I pretty much had an inkling of what was going on, because it's really a seasonal thing, I still wanted to dive in and confirm my assumption and share my observations with you. So fast. They're hanging out here along this edge, and then they'll go up the side of the grass there and uh, get on top of it. And that's where uh, I've been catching them. And uh, there's one right there coming right at us. This is the uh, edge of the Vallison area. That's Vallison area. That's a needle grass. It's a native here in Michigan. And bass absolutely love it. They can hide in it, they can cruise on top of it. The bait fish like it, the bluegills like it. Midday, the bass for the most part were schooled up, suspended off the outer edge of the grass where it drops off into deeper water. However, in the early morning hours, I found them actively feeding shallow on top of the grass, which made those fish entirely susceptible to my top water lure. Then I uncovered the key element. Here's a bunch of large mouth fingerlings. This is the seasonal aspect I referred to earlier, bass fingerlings. These wads of young of the year bass are the primary reason the adult bass, as well as other species, are moving up on the grass here. They're all feeding on the abundance of bass fingerlings. It's just another example of Mother Nature at work controlling the population. And on a calm midsummer morning, a KVD Splash Junior is the perfect choice to emulate the size and the profile of these bait fish. I would say that right here is a little key area because there was a little group here. Lots and lots of finger legs. Stay tuned, we've got a lot more coming. 
coming up right after these messages. The Turtle Commandos wrangle some more lake dragons. When Hook and Look returns. This portion of Hook and Look is brought to you by Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Evan Rood, the only outboard that lets you have it all. The original O'Wacky Tool, your soft bait's best mate. Trick Step, because getting in and out of your trailer boat should be easy. And by Indian River, Michigan Tourist Bureau. Pure waters, pure trails, pure north. Underwater, common snapping turtles are quite docile animals and prefer to avoid confrontations rather than provoke them. When a swimmer approaches, they will typically slip away and hide beneath the grass and mud nearby. However, when assaulted, their temperament quickly escalates. and with powerful jaws and a piercing beak, will aggressively try to inflict a brutal bite in defense. <laughs> Look at him snap. Like he, he can't get your arm, huh? Nope. Oh, that's amazing. Obviously, obtaining the proper grip is extremely important. Johnny gives us the details. This is on the plastron of the snapper right here this whole bottom section and what we found is the best way to kind of get a get good control of them is grabbing kind of where um, the legs going right there I guess you could say the armpits of the turtle and if you get a couple of fingers on each side it's just a good hand hold so that you can easily control them they can't get at you and bite you so once you see those bubbles, then you dive in. Yep. What do you look for? You just kind of follow the most recent bubbles, and you'll end up seeing them kind of moving on the bottom, or he'll be burrowed in. And or you see his tail there. sticking up? Yeah. Yep. yep. So then what? Then we'll <laughs> go in. If you see him, we'll grab his tail first of all, just kind of stop him. And you get your hand under on under and grip that plastron on the bottom of their shell. But you gotta kind of do that quick, don't you? Because yeah, he, he can get that head yeah, around quick. Yeah, because yeah, they got so much muscle in their tail that they'll try to pull their tail towards their shell so that they can get their mouth at you. Yeah. You don't want that when yeah. you're trying to swim up with a turtle. Right. You don't want to get bit. But yeah, you'll Duh. grab them there. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's the whole purpose of this. You don't want to get bit, hopefully. I yeah, don't get bit. And you, you all got your fingers. Yep. yep. Oh, yeah. I was expecting you to say we, we caught five last week. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of people do what we do. Just having people see the, our experience underwater. That's what kind of why we hooked up with Hook and Look because they do a lot of underwater footage. They give you that aspect of what they use for lures and whatnot and catching fish. And we thought it'd just be sweet to have the viewers see um, what we're doing underwater. <laughs> we got him. Oh, man. Hey, he was just chilling there. He didn't even know I was there. Locating these lake dragons is half the fun and half the skill. In the shallows, you can occasionally find some crawling along the bottom. A little more often, though, they can be spotted from a distance basking on the surface. But these will quickly flee upon approach. Which brings us to how these turtle and twins most often detect the turtles. And it's kind of an art. David explains. Also what we're looking for is bubbles. And you'll see a, either like a ring of bubbles from where a snapping turtle burrowed into the weeds where it kicks up a ton of air bubbles that come up that we see from the surface from our boat. Either that or you'll see a trail. And that'll be a snapper just, just swimming on the bottom and he's just kicking up all kinds of air bubbles as he swims on top of these weeds. That kind of gives us a direction to travel. We want to dive in after those snapping turtles. He's coming up with it. Yeah, he's huge. Yes. This is awesome. Good job, Dave. You guys are nuts. 
Now when we say lake dragon, that's a lake dragon right there. <laughs> yeah. Look at that gash on his side. Yeah, I think this is gash. That's, yep. Yeah. He's got that. Yeah, this hole. I think old. So that's his name? Probably a prop. Yeah, that's yep. his name. Did wow. you have to chase him a little bit? Or? A little bit. Like I got down, I didn't see anything. And he was kind of stirring up that bottom real good. Oh, okay. Nice. Not sure how big he was when I saw him. As soon as I grabbed his tail, I was like, oh, yeah, this one's big. I mean, you just look at a big turtle like that, you just think, you know, oh, those things got to be slow. But when they get under the water, and a turtle that size, they can really move some water. They got a lot of power behind those legs. That's turtling, folks. You got that right. <laughs> there you go. The turtle and twins got a secret handshake. I hope you enjoyed our little diversion this week. I tell you, I had fun getting out with these guys. Be sure to follow the Turtle Commandos on Facebook and Instagram. That's Commando with a C-A-M. So until next week, get out there and hook and look. Look is a Kim Stricker production.